All right, let's see what we can draft. Ooh, Solomon's Gale. Oil Field's all right, but all right, so two mythics in the pack. Misanthropia is really good, and so is this. Llama Ring. Man, I think that's just such a cool card. <laughs> At the start of your turn, deal one damage to all minions and players. Like, how could we not take this? So this gets Alpha Strike if it breaches, and then 2-0 after it, it attacks. Just look. Oh. I just took that. Whoops. I forgot. So if you right click, it goes straight. You draft it. I guess we're going orange here. <laughs> Whoops. Yeah, pick two cards. I was going to pick uh like one I was going to pick like Misanthropia and Headless one and go for basic like wipes and board dominance, like board clears and stuff, kind of controlly. But now that we went orange, I feel like I have to commit to orange. That's the thing. I don't know if I'm going to even end up... I think we're going to be in like three colors minimum, if not four. So I think we just take uh, oil field as well. I'm sure we'll find uh, desert enchantments. Oil field is good. Purple Battle Chef. This card is so good. Man, the walk shield, it's two mana f to add zero, two to one of your creatures, but the regen one is what's insane. Like putting that on a Shinobi uh, or a Lort, just nuts. So nothing in our colors here. What's the strongest card then? I really like Battle Chef. Orange purple could work out. We're gonna be taking two cards here. Destroy an enchantment. Pretty good. Wow, I've never even seen that card, Circle Protection. Pretty good. I think I'm going to take the Battle Chef here and the Pox Springer. I think those are the two strongest cards. The Rune of Denial is really good, but four mana, two blue. I think it's going to be kind of hard to cast. All right, so we're getting, like, green is completely open here. Tailworm is pretty disgusting for four mana and you usually drop it onto an enchantment. It's just a six, six, four mana. Pretty value. I really like these uh, Vedma flame spars. Those are by far the strongest cards in the pack. All right, Seal of Exile is really good. Even though it kind of, it's kind of like anti-ramp, you sacrifice one max mana for it. Night Market is so good. That's what I also ran in my purple-blue deck. So I would put like a Lord or something in it and just keep getting two mana every time and milling them by two. Lurker. Did I? Which one is? Oh yeah. Vedma is Lurker. I didn't even realize that. I think we definitely take Seal. Seafire is pretty decent, but I don't think we're going to go into red. I think we take Night Market and Seal. We might. Yeah, now we're getting good orange cards. 
Maze. Maze is one of the best one drops. Maze is absolutely nuts. Especially if they can't deal with it. <laughs> Just like the never ending draw engine. I mean this is pretty good. I think we take both the uh, both our orange cards here. I mean eager recruits just straight up value. Gallows boy, one of the better green cards. Like warded and slayer. Two 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 drop. Pretty good. I love this card. I think we take it. We take Tarragon. And then Dust Devil, because we're going to want anything with the Desert Enchantments to activate our oil field, right? And we don't mind taking, like, I mean, the Gallows Boy is also really good. But in draft, I don't think people are going to be ramping too hard. I think we want, like, like bigger bombs. Racer in the Shadow is great. Clears the way. Uh, Jade Puma is pretty good if we splash yellow. I don't know how many colors we can reliably run. We might just have like dead cards in our hand that we'll just use uh, to burn for mana. This is like one thing that I love about this game. Like that's really frustrating about Magic. I think this game, they got it right with the mana base, right? Like the mulligan and the mana production system is like the same thing it's incredible that's why i was using uh the rainbow's end uh to cycle cards because you just draw free enchantments that you can keep burning for mana if you have good cards in your hand that you don't want to be burning uh, i'm really conflicted on what to take here uh, I guess we take the Puma. Or we take a Mutant. Sure. Take the Puma. Plenty of games like that. I mean, I don't know. I, I, I come from Gwent, so in Gwent, like, there's no mana, right? You, you just play one card each turn, uh, and that's the restriction. Like, I can't believe Magic is such a competitive game, and then there's that kind of aspect to it. I think we take another Tarragon here. Oh, we definitely want the cat, yeah. Aragon Cat, easy picks. Uh, Peach of Life. Gain one life for each minion in your boneyard. There's seven or more draw card. I mean, that's good. We don't have that much early game. This is good to kind of keep us in the game. So that's a cute combo. We take Horde and Hero, right? And then we use the Pearl from Tarragon. And you see that's the Pearl. So it's going to give it plus one, one and overrun. And he gets an extra plus two, plus two. It's a three drop one, one. Dude, look at that art. That is sick. Yeah, and I think we do take Peach of Life here. Yeah, this is going to work real nice. Okay, and there's another equipable item. I think we definitely take it. Give a minion before attacking deals to combat dam non-combat damage to the... D oh, that's cool. So 
I wonder how does this how does the uh, the mechanic exactly work so I attack directly across from me let's say it's a 2-2 it dies so it lets me go through for face I assume we got to take this and try it out that's all I know rhino placeholder yeah and I like the Colossus too our curve is pretty high right now a lot of five and six drops got a decent amount of twos as well I think we definitely take battle chef here uh deal one damage to your opponent and gain one life I do not like this card. I mean, I guess it's kind of good late game, but the issue with this card is like playing it on curve. You can't do usually can't do much. Oh, I guess it's only one gem. Is this the card I'm thinking of? I think I had another card like that. We definitely take Battle Chef. Oh no, it happened. Oh. I, I reported this bug and I think it's just happening with me. I don't know if they ever got, they ever fixed it. Okay, so I gotta leave the gauntlet. And continue draft and it should be exactly the same. Yeah. Uh, it gets stuck sometimes when I drag. It happens in Magic Arena too. I don't know, do we want another 6 drop? We have... 2 5 drops, 1 6. Another 5 in orange. I don't know if we're running... Uh, I guess we might be running yellow. I mean, this is a pretty decent card, and it could uh, help us last to late game. Survive. Alright. Actually, another Knives in the Dark. What's a sniffer? Add a Divine Compass to your hand on Breach. That's a 1-1. One -one. Okay, so it lets us. I think that's really good. Divination 3. I guess it's one mana to do it though. Man, but if it doesn't die <laughs> and you just keep doing. I kind of want another Knives in the Dark for consistency. I think this card might be really good. Especially if people aren't like playing really big creatures also this is good lots of good options in this pack what do we take I'm not sure. I'd like to try this card out. And I don't want to go too all in on the desert strat. Shinobi. This is my card. Conviction is also really good too. Slayer 3 and Overrun. Okay, so what is this? Consumes remaining orange gems to get plus one for each. That's pretty interesting. We're de definitely taking Shinobi. This card is absolutely insane. I love it. Uh, this is pretty good as well, but I'm not sure if we're going to run it. I think we take Conviction here. 
These like one mana modifications I think are some of the best cards in the game. Like the heal and draw and like those the ones that cycle and modify your dudes. Just so good. Alright, so we take the one purple card. Uh sure. I don't think we're gonna be running yellow. Thieves Bazaar is pretty good. I guess we take the Defender. That's an alright card. Not really that interested in it. I don't think we're gonna take the Martyr. So this can kill a 3 strength unit. We take a third Terragon? Sure, why not? Oh, Pentacle Flavors! We got it! We fucking got it. Oh, we have three purple cards to choose from. Uh, which one? The Breach Spell? Uh, are you talking about that 1-1 one, one dude? Or was it Sniffer? Yeah, here. So... Oh, Shinobi. No, it's targeted, dude. <laughs> it is targeted. And what's even so fucking cool about it, like, this is why I ran four of them in my deck, is because they come down and all those ninjas have, like, or not all, but most of those ninjas, where is it? They have stealth. So they come down hidden. So I was running them with the, like, 4-4 four, four ones that, that also have stealth. Uh, the Mimics or whatever. Where is that? Shinobi. Alright, there it is. Alright, so... It has stealth and it has teleport. So you bring it in. They don't know what it is. Or what strength it is. Or damage. And then, like, if they put something, like... If they play something in front of it... Like, you can just teleport to the other side of the board. And then, and then you just start attacking that next turn. And you're just like you know zapping them for two and it's like either you kill one of their creatures or you go face with the extra two damage like it's just they're snipers bro little throwing their ninja stars at everyone i love it but pentacle flavors this is the card that i love that i was playing in my in my constructed deck oh shoot i took defy death Man, I'm so used to right-clicking to look at cards, and every time I right-click, I pick. Alright, so let's read what we just picked. Where is it? Defy Death. Okay, so you can create a log with Defender in one of your lanes, or your opponent's on your opponent's turn. Oh, this is the one. Yeah, I remember this card. So basically, uh, if you leave the mana up, if you leave two mana, two purple gems up, it'll self-cast to save you. Like, if they get lethal. It's a, it's a pretty cool card. It's a really cool card. And then we're definitely taking Pentacle Flavors. Transform an enemy. Yeah. That's a good uh, removal spell. Oh well. Alright, respawn is really good. This is what I was running with the uh, pentacle flavors. So even like if I cast my pentacle flavors on a uh, battle chef or a shinobi, like even though they're pretty small creatures, like they have armor and regen. But if they somehow manage to kill it, I, I play a respawn on it, and it just comes back. So we're definitely taking that, and I guess a third Knives in the Dark. Uh, Seal of Exile. Insurance Broker might be really good here. 
I guess this is gonna be kind of hard to get a uh, breach off. So I think this is more reliable and we'll take another seal. The reason seal is so good is because it, it affects all copies in the deck. It's just insane. I'm over this uh, song though. Let me go to my other playlist. One second, sorry guys. <laughs> I'm gonna listen some like hip hop and rap for now. Hope that that's all right with y'all. Axeman is really good. Just nice cheap body. And I like the cataphract. Alright, round 20 out of 27. We're getting there. Alright, so desert. We don't need any of the other ones. Alright, Simuzin. This is the card I was running in my deck. So th the reason I think this is an insane card is because... It gives you a zero cost healing potion, which is just insane. Like a one mana 2-2 two -two that gives you card advantage with a zero cost. I mean, it's not really card advantage because it's spawning it, but. Occupying a minion as alpha strike. Sacrifice this enchantment after. Okay, I hate that. I guess it's a one cost enchantment, it's not too bad. The Sword Saint is also really good. I think we take both of these. Oh, we can take a Shinobi here. This is also really good. I ran in my deck uh, for go wide strats. Like, cause you don't really have any sweepers. So it can be pretty good. Deal three damage to the opponent. I think we take more one drops. Uh, I don't know about that actually. I think we take this stealth and agile on both those. <laughs> what up, dude? So I ran decoys. I don't think they're that good. I think we do this. We don't have that many, uh, we don't have that many enchantments, right? So Rainbow's End isn't going to be that good. Uh, Fires of Creations is insane here, right? So when you create an artifact, oh no. Yeah, we didn't draft any artifacts. So we take disc. We had divination. Impel men's night. I like impel. I think impel is really good. 
Alright, so it took out cards for me. I don't know why it took out all my racers. Hmm. Do am I allowed to change my deck in between games? Do you know if that's true, Captain Hedda? Guess we can try like this. Two seals. Oh, you can. All right. Then let's just go. Yeah, we're good to go. Back. And game one. Uh, I, I guess we had a couple enchantments that we could have, uh, yeah, we did have a couple enchantments. Maybe we could have taken Rainbow's End. Dang, look at those card backs. Alright, so I'm going to try and play in, in the left here and make use out of this. And what is this background noise? All right, we got it. We got our one shinobi. How'd that happen? All right, we want to play it here because we want to enchant it. So we play around these. It's gonna give us plus one and it's gonna give them negative one. This is what's up. Once we get the shinobi going, we're just like, yeah, he doesn't even want to fight this. Once we get our shinobi down, it's gonna be. So let's burn our respawn for now. Play our shinobi here. Uh. Honestly, we don't have to kill that. Let's see if they kill it. Because then we can just shoot it and then leave this guy to do three damage next turn. If the AI wants to trade here, I'm fine with that. I'm completely fine with that. Either way, yeah, I'm going to start. This guy has rush. Oh my gosh, now we don't get breach. I guess we have to take the trade now. Yeah, sure. So look, it comes out of it comes out of stealth, and then it gives like you get to choose like where you want to do two damage. So I could go face, I could hit this, but I think I'm gonna go for that one one. And it just yeah, pew pew. Easy. Uh what do we Honestly, kind of want to burn my night market. Like, what do what do we have to do with all that mana, anyways? Like, it doesn't matter. Like, we have nothing to ramp into with that enchantment. Even if we were breaching, getting two mana every turn, like, yeah, there's nothing. All right, we're getting rid of Seal of Exile, and. We'll do this. We'll trade here. Go face here, face, and we'll zap. And we can draw. Yeah, I think let's draw. 
Nice. So if he plays something that's two strength or lower, maybe we kill and then we actually breach with Shinobi, I think. What do you mean, Hedda? If I return what to my hand? Are you t were you talking about the... Uh... Oh shoot, we shouldn't have played that there. What am I doing? Okay, so the reason that... What up, bees? How you doing, man? Uh, the reason that was a misplay is because I played it in range of the spider that has deadly. So deadly will kill it on contact. Uh, so that was... Like, I literally just threw that card away. All right, we're just going face with this dude and nobody else. We're not doing anything else. Uh, I mean, you can't do that, uh, Captain, because like it has summoning sickness, right? Like, yeah. We just kill him here. Like, literally, this shinobi just did work. But yeah, like, he has summoning sickness. So. Oh, shoot. I didn't see what I got. Like, it would be too slow. It's easier just to teleport him. Like, if somebody, you know, deploys in front of you, it's just easier to teleport. Alright, so we do this. I think we just trade those two. We need to find something to spawn here. Yeah, we need to be able to play this guy soon. Uh, so we can equip and make this guy buff. Oh man, he, he brought something back. All right, that's fine. I'd rather have like recruits over uh Oh shoot, I should have empowered that. I lost one damage by not using my ability. Is the music too low? It's low for me. Let me know if that's too loud. Nice, we got a battle chef. I think I'd rather play that than... Uh, I'd like to play the tarragon, honestly. The tarragon's pretty good here, but so is the battle chef. Like... We play, we'll just hold on to this for one more turn. Here's the battle chef. We get the walk shield. Boom. We got a 4-5 with the regen now. We're not burning anything. We can't burn that because it's a... I don't think we can because it's a ephemeral, that copy that we spawned. All right, that's good for me. Yeah, I'm fine with this, into this. That's one mana, which we don't have. Uh, yeah, we'll trade here, I guess. And so once we play the pearl on this dude, he's gonna get. I think it. Ha what was that? 
ass if I asked it. Oh, stretcher. I be swinging it back and forth to you and your casket, babe. Mm. Girl, you on my best side. Mm. Then she found her west side. Mm. Anyways, we went. Yeah, it does work repeatedly. So if you can keep spawning items like that. Wow. Wait, why am I discarding? Say it loud, say it proud. Oh, stretcher? Open door, hit the couch, then the floor. I cut it off like a scissor. Love the law. Whatever, we killed the stretcher. Either way. Oh, I guess we could have played this on this dude. Oh, we played on. It buffs him? No, it didn't buff him. That's weird. He should have been a little bit bigger. But yeah, look how many uh, modifications we have him on him right now. He started out as a 1-1 one, one, and he's a 7-8. Alright, I want to see how big I can get him. One sec. <laughs> I know I have lethal, but... So, plus 2. Yeah, it worked again. We made a 10-10 out of a 1-1. One, one. Alright, that that is sweet. That is super sweet. Oh man, he had life link too? Or life tap? Jeez. Alright, that card is insane.